What's up guys, Bearded Jeeper here. Today I'm bringing you a review of the DV8 Inner Fender Liner. First off, I'd like to give a huge thank you to DV8 Off-Road for sending me these Inner Fender Liners. And now that's not going to affect my review at all. I'm still going to give you a 100% comprehensive review. All right, so first let's talk about some of the pros of these. I really like their aluminum design. It makes them really lightweight, uh, yet they're really sturdy. Uh, they don't feel flimsy at all. They feel like a, a nice, durable product. Um, so you're really gonna get what you pay for here. The I got the powder coating on mine, so they, they really look amazing. Uh, it's a, a nice finish, and uh, you don't have to worry about it rusting right away, especially with the uh, New England roads up here. Stuff tends to rust pretty quickly. It's uh, nice stainless steel hardware, so that's not going to rust. It's just really well-built quality all around. Now, one of their best features is um, this vented area here. Um, you can customize it whatever color you want, and it lets a lot of air into the engine while keeping it sealed still of dirt and debris. Now another thing I really like is they stretch the whole length of the fender. Uh, I've seen some kits where it's only partial, you don't really get the rear or you don't really get the front. One good thing is it uh, encompasses the whole area. So you get a really good coverage, keeps a lot of the crap out of your engine that you don't want in your engine. Now as far as cons are concerned, there's only a few that I can think of. Um, the first one being is you, you have to reuse a lot of your factory hardware. And if you're like me and have aftermarket factory flares, or aftermarket flares, you might not have some of the bolts they require you to have. So um, it'd be nice to see them come with the kit, have, have some bolts that are specifically designated for all these holes. Uh, so they'll be nice, clean, rust-free. Um, I did have the two bolts up here, and I had a bolt. I ended up putting a, a bolt in here that I found. Um, that keeps it pretty sturdy. Uh, that kind of leads into my second uh, con: is it's supposed to the kit's supposed to come with uh, foam pieces, t uh, so you don't hear rattling metal against metal anywhere this contacts metal. Um, now mine doesn't rattle. Uh, it's nice and secure in there, but uh, you might hit some rattling uh, depending on how, how tightly your kit installs. So it, it could have been a, a minor uh, shipping mistake. It forgot to, they forgot to throw it in the package. If it does start to rattle, I can get some, uh, get some foam from them and it'll make everything all right. So my overall impressions are I really like these inner fender liners. I really like the looks. I've already got several compliments on them. Uh, so another huge shout out to DV8 Off-Road for sending me these to review. If you want a set of these, I'll put a link down below in the description so you can go check them out. The price is about $219 for the raw aluminum version. For the powder coated black, you're gonna pay around $249. I think that's definitely worth it. It really cleans up the look. Um, there was only those few cons that I mentioned, but overall, I like it. It looks great and it does its job. I did make an installation video. If you haven't seen that yet, I'll put a link to that as well. So check that out if you have any questions about uh, how hard or easy it is to install. Hopefully that'll answer some of your questions. Uh, if you have any more questions, leave them in the comments of that video or leave them in the comments of this video. I'll get right back to you. Hopefully I can help you decide if these are the inner fender liners that you'd like. And if you do end up buying a set of these, Post a picture of them on our Facebook page. I'd love to see them, see how you customize them, uh, see if you paint them blue, yellow, green, whatever. I'd like to see how yours turn out as well. As always guys, stay bearded, stay jeeping. I'm out. If you guys would like a set of these for yourself, if you'd like a set of these for your...